Can AI beat human in creating the best YouTube thumbnails? This is a burning question many creators have in mind, but not many actually put to the test. So today, I'm going to challenge myself to create thumbnails like this or this using only free AI tools. So if you're curious about how I make them, keep watching to find out. So before we start, I just want to quickly mention that most tutorials out there will teach you to take a photo of yourself and then remove background and then just incorporate another AI generated background. Um, and that's all good. Like I also use that a lot, but in this video, I want to show you a completely different approach that I've found that will allow you to be more creative in your thumbnail. So first we'll use ChatGPT to help us find some uh, video ideas and let's just do something fun. Let's do something like in a Mr. B style, the greatest YouTuber uh, that ever existed, right? Um, so I have a prompt here that says, generate 10 engaging YouTube video concepts uh, inspired by Mr. B style. So let's hit it. Okay, so now we see some ideas that are quite interesting, such as uh, surviving a deserted island with only a hundred dollars, or um, twenty-four hours in a haunted mansion for charity. Uh, I quite like this one. Um, we have also uh, around the world in eighty texts. So these are all like some like really creative video ideas, right? And uh, for now, let's just go with the 24 hours in the haunted mansion for charity um, because I think this looks quite interesting and we'll develop a thumbnail idea for it. Okay, now the second step is actually to create a thumbnail idea to think about what you want your thumbnail to look like. And before we do that, let's just quickly look at Mr. B's thumbnails to see uh, what's going on here. Um, and as you can see, his thumbnails are actually most of the time quite simple. Like what I mean by simple is that it conveys one idea and one idea only most of the time. And you can see like it has this like vibrant color and you can see right away what he's trying to convey in his videos. And so that's what we're trying to bear in mind when we're creating our own thumbnails, okay? All right, the next step, step three, is to write your prompt. So we're going to use an AI image generator to generate a thumbnail for us. But first you need to describe what you want so AI can work its magic. There are four parts you want to include in your prompt for AI to generate the image you want. First one is the foreground. And usually in this kind of thumbnail, uh, it's you, right? It's the person. So you have to describe yourself. Then you have the background, which is the setting. So you want to talk about what kind of environment, what kind of elements there are in the background. Also, the style of the photo. So is it more like realistic? Is it more like anime, illustration? Which type of style you want? And lastly, the dimension of the photo. So I will show you uh, in a little bit. Next step is to actually generate a photo. And you can use any art, uh, AI art generators you like. But for this video, I'm just going to use Ideogram because it's free to use. So let's dive in. Uh, when you come to the Ideogram website, you can uh, sign up with Google or Apple if you don't have an account yet. I'm just gonna log in. So once you're here, if you hit on the settings button, you can see that you have 25 prompts left. So that means free 25 prompts daily. And we can also look at the subscription plans. So here you can see that you have 25 prompts a day. That means 100 images per day. Otherwise, you can also upgrade to a basic plan, which costs you $7 per month. And Ideogram also recently upgraded to its model 1.0. And we're not going to go into the details here, 
but you can read all about it on the blog. Basically, more realistic photos, more high quality photos, and so on. But as you can see, when you click on the bar here, you will see different models, such as 1.0 or the older versions 0.1 and 0.2. And we're just going to continue our process here by pasting our prompt here. So I have a prompt describing uh, an Asian woman in the foreground. And then in background is like a haunted uh, mention for, for the video. So let's hit generate. So now we have the results here and already I think they look amazing. These like vibrant colors and like really, really eye catching. If I see this, I probably click on this uh, right away. But I know what you're thinking. You're like, but Ting, what are, you, what are you talking about? Like these women, they're not you. They're just like some random women. Even a five-year-old can see that, right? And you're absolutely right. But you will see the magic will happen in the later part of this video. So just bear with me here. So let's say we uh, really like this one, right? And I will just download it and we'll go into the next step. And the next step is when the real magic happens. We'll use a free tool that will allow you to swap your face into basically any photo you want. And it's called a Remaker AI. So let's go to this page now. So when you sign up, you will get 30 free credits to swap faces. That means you can swap 30 faces for free. And how it works is really, really simple. You just basically upload the image uh, we just generated with AI. This uh, scared uh, woman, that's not me. And then you upload a photo of yourself. It's that simple. So let's click um, swap. And there you have it. You have your face on the thumbnail. And for me personally, I think this looks amazing. So let me just show you a few more examples just to show you a little bit more like uh, how the face swap works. To save us some time, I already generate these photos beforehand. So let's just go ahead and upload them. The first video idea is about how I became a millionaire uh, with Bitcoin. That's not true, uh, just an idea, okay? And um, I will use the same uh, target face swap. Give it a little second. And yeah, <laughs> a thumbnail just like this. I'll use this really just as is. Okay. And another example, let's do it. It's about a, a food challenge, right? So it's a, you might imagine this video is like, I only ate donuts for 30 days, whatever. I'm actually a quite healthy person, but just for the sake of this video, uh, let's create this. Yeah, and again, it created this uh, face swap with no problem. And for me, this looks quite seamless. Let's just do one last example. And it's again like a unhealthy food challenge. I know some fitness uh, YouTubers do this kind of challenge to show people how our body will be negatively influenced by these um, unhealthy food. So I have a woman here with all the McDonald items before her. Let's swap it. And there you have it. It's me trying all the McDonald's food uh, in one day or whatever, right? So you get the idea here. To make my method work, you need to first use AI to create an image or a thumbnail with someone that basically looks like you in the foreground. And then you just swap your face into the thumbnail. So it looks quite seamless. And for me, this works perfectly. And it does allow you a little bit more creativity in creating a thumbnail 
then just you know remove your background and then incorporate like a separate background. In my opinion, there's just one thing to keep in mind though: the generated images from ADOgram might not be the best resolution. So if you want really like perfect uh, quality, you might need a upscaling tool. But other than that, for me, it works really well. Okay, now, so keep in mind that with this method, sometimes you will need forever to just generate one uh, YouTube thumbnail that you like. Uh, but that's completely normal, right? This is AI, so you need to like do some trial and error and then just eventually find something you like. But I promise you, when you find it, it's gonna be so good. And of course, I'll also leave some of the prompts uh, I used in this video down below to help you get better results. So just don't forget to hit that subscribe button right now so you'll get notifications. I'll also in a future video talk a little bit more about Ideogram. Um, I will test out some prompts and talk about some of the other features. So yeah, just hit that notification bell right now. And thank you so much for watching today and I'll see you in the next video.